If you've ever tried to buy tickets to a concert in today's world, it's a very frustrating experience for many people. Ticket bots and scalpers seem to soak up all the available tickets. So even if an artist wants to sell tickets for $50, they end up being sold for hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars depending on the um, popularity of the artist. Uh, for an example, Tragically Hip tickets uh, that went on sale for their final tour in, in Canada after Gord Downey announced he had cancer, terminal cancer, those, about two-thirds of those tickets, this is a report from CBC, two-thirds of those tickets were sold to bots and brokers and uh, scalper bots are, are a real big problem when it comes to ticket sales and in fact legislators are starting to try and look at certain um, laws that they can put in place to outlaw this and uh, but it isn't even if it's illegal <laughs> It still happens. Uh, scalping is supposed to be illegal in certain places, but we know we know it happens. Anybody that's ever walked it to a stadium or an arena, uh, people are standing outside usually trying to sell their tickets for a lot more money than they paid for them. But it's a real problem online. Gone are the days where we used to line up. Um, outside of the ticket office waiting for the doors to open and uh, and then rush in uh, first come first serve to to purchase the tickets physically and I remember doing that many years ago uh, the, the one time I lined up for oh from 530 in the morning I lined up for a uh, Billy Joel concert and it was worth every single hour that I stood in line before those doors open. But today everything is done through Ticketmaster most of the time and uh, they charge a percentage to the artists for reselling for selling their tickets and basically they um, they do all the accounting, they do all the legwork in getting the tickets into the fans uh, hands. However, because of these ticket bots, it's it's a real problem and, and of course the fans have no opportunity to buy unless you're really, really patient and um, some people are are pretty successful but it's almost like uh, it's almost like a poker game. You you almost have to be right on the finger and we've even seen commercials um, where they've had this scenario where uh, your data your data plan is weaker than the other data plan so you didn't get the tickets fast enough and and we're seeing that some artists have uh, have decided that this this is not for them and they're looking at alternatives to going to Ticketmaster and uh, and selling tickets this way. In fact, you know, many of these artists, the reasons they go this route is so that they don't have to do all the grunt work themselves. Uh, outside of hiring somebody to do it for you, they could sell them off their websites, and some of them are doing that. Uh, Louis C.K. was one of the first people to, to kind of s step out of the box on this, and, and um, he when he was uh, coming to Canada for a Vancouver, um, a Vancouver show, he he warned people, he warned the fans not to purchase from StubHub and some of these other scalper sites because he, if you know, he saw these tickets being sold on those sites, he would actually invalidate those tickets, and if it was a big enough problem, he probably canceled the show. So we need more artists to actually step up their game if they want to keep tickets reasonable for their fans to attend. And it hasn't been a problem but for them, obviously, because they, they get a sold-out house. But uh, for the fans, it's a real problem. And Louis Black, another comedian, 
recently posted um, posted a video about uh, a membership site using using a membership site for him to sell tickets to directly to the fans so I think we're going to start seeing this happen because what it boils down to is if you really want to see a show you can't unless you've got hundreds or thousands of dollars to pay scalpers to see it because unless you are right on the finger of your computer as soon as the tickets are released to the public your chances are you're not ever going to be that first person in line to get those tickets and uh, many many times if you go uh, most of the time if you go to buy a ticket even to a show that may not be as popular as say Metallica um, which would sell out two two shows in back to back in, in one day uh, you could go to Ticketmaster to buy a ticket and all of a sudden you're redirected to another site so it is a problem. I look at it as an economic bullying. We've, you know, the artists intended to sell tickets for fifty dollars a pop, and you have to pay a hundred and twenty dollars for the same ticket. And um, I'm hoping that more artists step up to the plate, like Louis C.K. and uh, Louis Black, to. Um, and I think there's a couple of country artists that have already started doing this as well and uh, the more that start stepping up to do this then it's win-win for the fans